Ambuza Nyotia Group organized the sixth edition of Charles Korea Memorial Lecture on 15th July 2023. works that have something very innovative to offer, whether it is rootedness, whether it's sustainability, whether it's uh, integrating craftsmanship, or uh, being environmentally conscious. So every year we invite one or two architects, and we are truly privileged that this year we have Brindaji and Vibhuti Van Singhji to be here with us. I just want to say that the journey of working with Mr. Korea was truly exemplary. Uh, besides the fact that he contributed in creating this wonderful uh, public space, I would call it, in the city of Kolkata, I think he helped us understand design and architecture in a way that is very unique. And those five or six years that we spent between designing and completing this project, the innumerable number of interactions have left an indelible mark, not just on my mind, but on those of my colleagues. This program is not just limited to being viewed by the audience here, but there is a digital streaming of it and it will get uploaded onto our website which has a fair amount of visits by young architects and other people interested in design. So with these few words, thank you very much and really appreciate your presence. Over four decades, she has merged architecture, conservation and social equity in projects ranging from institutional campuses and rehabilitation of an earthquake-torn village to the restoration of an 18th century cathedral showing that progress in history need not be at odds. The numerous awards that Brinda has, best, has been bestowed with include the Babura Mahfrey Gold Medal by Indian Institute of Architects in 2014. <coughs> she was appointed as the chairperson of the Board of Governors School of Planning and Architecture Vijaywada in 2016. She joined the Board of Lafarge Policing Foundation for Sustainable Construction, Zurich, Switzerland in 2017. Also, Ashish Acharya, who never gave up. I think for many years, <laughs> I, I have been, we've been talking and trying to get us here. Then the pandemic came and I couldn't make it. But thank you, Ashish, for your dogged determination. So, it's very difficult to decide how to present a lecture like this, which is Charles Korea Memorial Lecture, because we certainly can't be uh, trying to compare our works or anything with the great man that went before us. So um, what I've tried to do today is I would like to begin with something I wrote about him after he passed away for uh, a magazine called A Plus D. I love reading his books his essays and hearing him talk. Like his work, his writings were also inclusive and so easy to read and understand, but with deep meaning. No complex words and sentences, no complicated structure, no looking down on the rest of the world, but just wonderful stories and essays with tales like 
learning from Eklavia, roots and bridges, and what one love learned from Corbusier. Of course, we had Mr. Homi Baba. Here he is at the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research. And finally, to the right, we had Charles and Ray Eames, who were brought in through the Ford Foundation to set up the National Institute of Design. In the 70s, when we were really building up our practices, the late 70s. So we struggled. The building to the left was my first office. It was a Mali's shed, and it had a mori in the middle of it. Today, Mr. Neotia was talking about his first office. So that was my first office. And um, it was, um, there was almost a big gap in the middle. I just had one person who worked with me. And then slowly over the years, we moved on from that. Many of us of the bridge generation are still practicing teaching in the architectural space of today. So my studio's vocabulary is the Indian architectural vocabulary of water, light, walls, geometry and materials. In her edition, we have new architects who come from Calcutta or ज़्यादा हम लोग उसके उनके बारे में नहीं जानते वैसे कुछ सेलिब्रेटेड आर्किटेक्ट्स को बुलाने का प्रयास रहता है जो वो अपने प्रेजेंटेशन के माध्यम से हम लोग सबको उत्साहित करें कुछ आइडियाज़ दें कुछ उसके साथ बातचीत हो ताकि हम लोग सब डिज़ाइन और जिस तरीके से नए परिवेश और नए सोच जो हो रही है कि जिसमें एनवायरनमेंट को भी प्रोटेक्ट करना है सस्टेनेबिलिटी भी है आर्किटेक्चरल हेरिटेज को भी कायम रखना है सबको रखते हुए हम लोग किस तरह से नए डिज़ाइन को इवॉल्व करें तो ये विभिन्न लोग का अलग अलग अप्रोच होता है उसके बारे में जानकारी होने से हम लोग का कुछ आइडियाज़ आते हैं और फिर कुछ हम लोग अपने आप उसका इनोवेशन करके अपने ढंग से उसको प्रस्तुत करते हैं तो यही प्रयास है और चार्ल्स कोरिया साहब बहुत नाम किए हुए व्यक्ति हमारे देश में सबसे ज़्यादा विख्यात आर्किटेक्ट रहे हैं और हम लोग को उनसे काफ़ी प्रेरणा मिली है और उनसे संजोग ये भी रहा है कि ये जो सिटी सेंटर हैं जहाँ पर आप हैं उन्होंने ये डिज़ाइन किया है तो उन्हीं की स्मृति में ये किया जा रहा है